Hey everyone, it's Stephanie from Scrap and Create, and we are working on Let It Snow, and this is page one. Page one, and I've got everything, I think, lined up and ready to go, I hope. Okay, so we're going to start with um, a left and right hand um, flap, and they're both five by eight. Five by eight, you're going to score a half inch on the five inch side. We're going to inset these a half inch, so I've already put my tick marks here, so I'm going to line the flap up with these two little marks so that it's a half inch from either edge. And I think I'm just gonna start by pulling. Some days I feel like I can see better than others and I don't know what that's about. <clears throat> Maybe it's allergies. Um, but today I, I feel like I'm struggling with my vision. So I'm going to pull the tab out, make sure everything is lined up. And then, you know, pull the strip all the way out. A lot of times I'll just lay it down in one piece, but today I don't feel like I can see well enough to do that. And before you say it, no, it's not my glasses. I just washed them. <laughs> I actually do think it's some kind of an allergy. Unfortunately, I think I'm allergic to my dog. And we'll all just have to live with it because <laughs> I love her. <laughs> Anyways, I hope everybody's doing well. And thank you so much for, you know, taking time to provide feedback on the last project. I really, really appreciate it. Um, and, it, you know, anything that you think I could do a little bit differently to make this um, a more useful tutorial, let me know. Am, am I talking too fast, too slow? Am I not leaving the banners long enough? Anything. Just let me know, and I'll do whatever I can to... Um, better um, change the videos to better suit um, what you guys need. Okay, thanks again. Okay, so um, this is from the 12 by 12 collection pack. Um, and I think this is a beautiful, one of the beautiful patterns. I don't know if it's me or if I just have been away from graphic 45 long enough that um, it feels like this particular collection has a lot of patterns and solids or cut aparts so it, it doesn't feel like there's a whole lot of um like main feature prints like this um there's the cover there's this one there's the circles and the polar bear and then everything else from the um collection pack is really kind of cut aparts uh, which are nice but um i feel like i have a few less patterns to work with than i'm kind of used to We'll see as I progress. So again, this is page one, build one. And for those of you who aren't familiar with that, um, I did get some feedback from somebody who said, oh, you, you build it um, out of page sequence and um, it would be helpful for me to, you know, know when you actually cut the paper for that particular page. So page one is the number of the page in the book. And build is the sequence in which I actually cut through the designer paper and planned um, which how to coordinate the papers. And so, for example, page four might actually be my second build, meaning that I'm cutting through the designer paper to fit page four before I did page two or three. A little bit confusing, but I under when she sent me um, that comment, I was like, "Oh yeah, I could see how that would be um, helpful." So okay, so we are going to need some magnets here, and I'm I'm still trying to decide if I'm going to put a uh, something here um, to keep this closed. So I'm, I'm giving that some thought. But while I'm thinking about that, we're going to go ahead and install the pocket, which is. 10 inches by four and a half, 10 inches by four and a half. You're gonna score a half inch on three of the sides to make this nice little pocket. And it's gonna fit right between um, your two flaps, or it should. And I just wanna show you what's happening here. It's not, see how it's bowed up? So I am actually going to take this out and move my score line over just a tiny bit to allow it to close. I should have tested it before I taped it, but it's not that big of a deal. I can I can deal with it. <clears throat> mm. 
<clears throat> no, it's the other way. I was cutting it the wrong way. Okay. There we go. So all I need to do is move that score line over just a smidge. And um, for those of you familiar with me, you know that that's one of my technical terms. <laughs> no, it's not. I just make it up as I go. Okay, so let's get my score tool. And there we go. I'd say it's about a sixteenth of an inch that I'm moving it over. And then it should fit nicely between uh, the two panels. <clears throat> I'm off, I'm out of frame, but what I'm doing is I use my cutting mat. It has a very sharp um, 90 degree corner. So I'm just using it to um, to pick up that new score line. Because it's so close to the other, you have to sort of coach it into place. There we go. Oops, needs a little more work. go. Almost there. Okay, let's see how we did before I tape it closed again. Oh, still a little bit bulky. So, I made this 10, so my recommendation is it's probably 9 and 7 eighths is going to be the right number, and then a half inch on either side. 9 and 7 eighths, and then a half inch on either side, and it'll fit neatly um, between the two flaps. So I need to score it one more time. <clears throat> I should have tested this before um, I started recording, but I do... I say this often, but I do like to leave my issues in um, so you guys know how to work around it if, if and when you're doing your own designs and you are faced with an issue, you, you can see how I'm solving some of these problems. I'm not sure that's going to be enough. One. That should do it. There we go. Now I'm just going to use the edge of the um, scoreboard to see if I can't get it folded right. I'll try it one more time. Now, of course, the other thing you can do is put um, scoot these out a little to the left and right to accommodate, but since I put them in already, I can't do that. So I need to further murder, miter my corner. I'm going to murder my corner. <laughs> which is what I was trying to say. There we go. I'll clean that up after I test it. Yeah, that's gonna work. Absolutely. Okay, now it's closing flush, which is what we were looking for. Got a little tag hanging off here. I'm gonna trim it. Beautiful. Okay, let's put this in. I want to be careful on this side because I've moved my score line. It's a little sloppy. So I want to make sure it's completely pressed into place. And I might even run a little bit of glue where my tape Well, Actually, you know what? I think I'm just going to put another piece of tape on it. So I am going to go with my quarter inch tape and put it on the edge that I had to modify. So it will absolutely go down uh, flush for us. Okay. There we go. Okay. Make sure it's completely curled under. Okay, 
There we go. All right, there we go. All right, so what I've selected here is this pattern, which is from the Patterns and Solids. And then I was gonna do this, but now I'm rethinking it because it's kind of busy. And then this is gonna go here. So we can trim this down. If I only need a four inch slice. This is the cream colored um, 12 by 12 that comes in the Patterns and Solids. Okay. Oops. I forgot it's nine. Okay. So trim it a little bit more and slide it into the pocket. Okay. And then we've got this here. So I'm rethinking this. I think it's too busy. So I think I'm going to um, look for something that's uh, a little more exciting. Hang tight. Okay, I've decided on the polar bears, and I'm going to set these aside and um, save them for something else in the book. So again, we're on page one, build one. Looks like I got some dirt on here. So I'm going to turn it over. Okay, let's ink these, put them in. Um, I've mentioned it a couple of times and we've sent out reminders uh, via email, but um, it's not going to be much longer before we have to suspend shipment of the um, art glitter glue due to um, the temperatures. And uh, hopefully if you haven't already, come over and stock up. Oh, I have to stop for a second. We're going to need, let's go ahead and put this in. We're going to need uh, some magnets. Almost messed up. And the magnets are going to go on top of the pocket and on the back of these flaps, I think. I have to think about that for a second. Let's trim that down a little bit more. All right, this should fit now. So because I had to um, trim down the, or make the pocket a little bit narrower, I don't want too big of a line between the flap and the pattern paper. So I'm not tucking it inside the pocket, which is what I normally do. So you may notice that I'm doing something a little bit different and that's why. And I always like to keep you guys informed on what, what's driving my design decisions and paper placement. Okay. All right, so magnets. So one of the things I was hemming and hawing about was whether or not I want to use um, an ephemera card uh, to close it, in, in which case the magnet would go on the ephemera card and the flip side of one of these. And I think I'm going to because I think that's just too much pattern there. So now it's a question of which one. We don't want poinsettias because poinsettia on poinsettia is too much. Where's the rest of them? Here they are. I have to be careful because they kind of disappear on this background. I do like the green, but I don't want poinsettia on poinsettia. So I'm going to look for another one that has a lot of green in it. 
kind of like this, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. We are going to cardstock back this. I'm gonna tuck those over here. And uh, we're gonna glue it down on one side, put a magnet on the other, and then put a magnet on the flip side of the cover. So I'm gonna go prep all that and I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, I've got cardstock on the back of this ephemera card. I really like this one too. And then I've also chosen a coordinating um, pattern that's gonna cover the back half that'll be exposed. So I'm gonna put that on first. So it's gonna get installed this way. And I'm gonna have it open to the right because the spine's gonna be over here. I want it to open to the right, away from the spine which means uh, this is the section that's going to be exposed. Okay. See? And there it is. So I've also put a small tick mark here on the halfway point. So the midpoint is about two inches. So I want my glue to come in about two inches. Okay, and I'm just gonna visually center it. Okay, now I wanna make sure it's straight before it dries. So I'm just measuring the distance. Just to nudge over just a bit. Two, three, two. Okay, that looks pretty darn good. Okay, looks pretty good. So that's in place. Now we're. Oh, I was supposed to put a magnet there. Shoot. I can't get it together, guys. So I'm going to use my spatula and lift that because we are going to stick a magnet in here. And if you can't lift yours, you can always use like a sticker or something to cover it. But I got it in here pretty good. So I'm going to place that, add a little bit of more glue, and close it. it. Sometimes depends a lot on the weather, whether or not I can get back in there. And fortunately, I could. Now the hard part is... I want to put my glue in there and it's going to want to follow um, the glue tip uh, because it's metal and it's a magnet, right? So I'm going to push that down a little bit more. I was trying to find a tool that wasn't metal, but nothing, uh, nothing was grabbing my attention. So the spatula I used is one you would find in the painting section of your craft store. And it's much, much thinner than the spatulas that come with the uh, trim tools like a Cricut or a Silhouette. So for lifting paper, I find it to be very, very valuable. Need another magnet. Which my desk is a, an old steel case. Um, desk and um, it, because it's got metal in it, my magnets won't stick to everything. Okay, so we want this to go under here and I should have, put, normally you would place this magnet and then figure out this one, but I did it backwards. So now we're gonna have to try to figure it out this way. And hopefully it's going to try to locate it. Where is it? It's up, up higher. And in further. Yeah. 
there. I found it. I found it. So I, I used a combination of three magnets to find it because it would be much harder to locate this if it was floating around every time I opened it. So I'm going to put some temporary tape on there. I'm going to test it one more time. That's double-sided. And then um, if it's right, then we're going to take that side down. Yes, it is. Okay, so this is the side that's going to stay. I'm going to cover it with 5 8 inch tape. Just to soften the edges. Okay, now we can get back to covering. Oh no, I must have got some glue on there. Hmm. I am going to make some inserts for this, but I'm going to come back to it after I've covered the bulk of the pages, um, and then I'll use what's left. Um, I'm sure I'm going to put ephemera cards in there, and then of course I don't need this magnet. We'll just take that off, and it should stay closed. There we go. Now the last thing is we're going to put some decorative strips on either side. Um, this is definitely from the 12 by 12 collection. It was just one of it's on the edge of something. And unfortunately, I need a second to tell you what it is. It is, yeah. So it's from this 12 by 12 page, um, and I just cut uh, the strip off on both of them. So I'm going to do a left and a right. I always look at this and I have a hard time deciding. Do I want the words to go the same direction or do I want them to be a mirror image? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So, and it looks like I might need to I cut my strips at a half inch. So I might need to cut them down just a little bit. Yeah. So I'm going to cut these down just a little bit so that um, they fit better here. The other option is to try to tuck it under your flap. Um, and I'm gonna see if I can't do that first. It's easier, The uh, in my mind it's easier because um, it's very hard to cut strips once I get down past a half inch. So I think with some nudging I can get that in there. And then I'll burnish everything back down after I glue it in place.
just enough of a gap to tuck something in. Let's see. I think I can do that. All right, I'm going to do that, tuck it in. I'm going to stop here. I'm going to fuss with this a little bit more. You can either trim it down or lift up your um, hinge slightly and tuck it under, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to push it in as far as I can. It's going to get grabbed by the tape, and then I'm going to lift up the outside edge and just run a bead of glue. And I'm going to do that on both sides. But it's going to take a, a few months of fussing. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here. And this is page one of Let It Snow, Graphic 45's latest collection.